Hey what's good, I'm Sadia and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit multicam videos. So whether you've got two camera angles, three, four or more, the process is exactly the same. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a project. So I've already done that under my tutorial event. Um, but just as a reminder, to create a new project, you right click your event, go into a new project, give it a name, um, choose the event if you've got multiple, otherwise I'll just default to the default one. Uh, choose your video format, resolution, so I'm going to just do 4K and yeah, that's all you need to change really, so hit OK on that and then I'm just going to delete that because that was just for demo and then we just want to import our footage, so go to your finder, you can um, import footage by going to in Final Cut Pro, you can go file, import, media and then choose it there. Um, but I feel like that's a bit of a long-winded way to do it. I prefer to, because I organise my files within folders in my finder, I find it easier to just click and drag them, uh, select and then drag them in. So I just want to quickly pause for a second and give a massive shout out to Charlie Lennon at Lennon Prep. She's a public speaking coach based in the United States and she allowed me to use her footage to create this video tutorial for you guys. I also want to say thanks to Stephanie, who's also featured in the video and you can find both of their social media links in the description below. So be sure to check them out and back to the tutorial. I've got my three angles here. So you've got Charlie, Stephanie and wide angle. So I'm just gonna drag them and put them into my browser. And then what you wanna do is give each angle a name. Um, so click the first one. So this is a wide angle shot. So if your inspector is not open, open it up. So that's just this icon here. So if it's in closed, uh, if it's collapsed, then just click that and it will open it up. And then under the information icon, you wanna go into camera name and give it a name. So I'm gonna call this wide angle. And then just do the same for all of your angles. Um, so this one, we'll call that Charlie. And the final one, which is Stephanie. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you can go ahead and create the multicam clip. So to do that, select all your angles, right click, and then you wanna go new multicam clip. Then you'll get this uh, little window pop up. So I'm gonna call it um, Charlie, oops, Charlie, oh my God. Charlie Stephanie podcast because that's what the video is all about. You want to make sure that use audio for synchronization is included, especially if your video contains audio. Um, and in terms of angle synchronization, you can base it on content created. Obviously, you can change it to any of these, but I tend to leave it on the default, which is content created. It basically uses the metadata from the angles. So if you if you film them on the same day, which you would for multicam videos, then it will you know, synchronize the angles based on the time so that they will definitely be in sync. And my MacBook is going crazy. And then choose the format. If you decide, you know, you want the video to be 1080p, then go for it, change it. I'm just going to leave it on 4K and hit OK. And then Final Cut Pro will synchronize those clips and convert it into a multicam. And then you'll see it appear in the browser. So where you see this sort of um, the four boxes, the sort of grid icon, that's your multicam clip. And if you look in the browser here, again, if your ins inspector is closed, just open it up by clicking the inspector icon here. Um, and you can see it says you've got active video angle and you've got your active audio angle. Um, so here I would change the active video angle to the sort of the main one. Of course, this doesn't matter too much because when we go into the editing mode, we will change that up. So don't worry too much about this part. But for now, I'm going to change the active video angle to the wide angle because that is the main one. In terms of audio, um, I'm just going to leave it on Charlie for now. So the wide angle one, because the camera's a little further away, um, the mic microphone the sound level is a bit low. Um, so we'll just leave it on Charlie for now. But again, at this point, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so once that's set up, you can sort of close the browser just so you have more space. And then what you want to do is drag your multi click your multicam clip and drag it into the timeline. And then now looking at it, you're probably thinking, well, where are my other angles? This is just one. So this is the wide angle, right? Well, to edit a multicam clip, you actually need to configure it. So to do that, all you need to do is double click the clip here. So once you've double clicked it in the timeline, 
you'll see the three clips or the two or four or more depending on how many angles you had added um, and then here you can see that uh, the Charlie clip is the main video focus and the audio is coming from the Charlie video uh, but we want the wide angle one in this case to be the main video so what you need to do is click the monitor sign here to so click that monitor icon there so now the wide angle is the main video but the audio is coming from Charlie's clip um, and you can see that on the Stephanie clip the audio is muted um, because it's grey but we want because Charlie and Stephanie have their own mics we want to use their audio right so you want to keep Charlie's audio on so that um, the audio icon there is switched on and then well, we want to do the same for Stephanie so I'm going to turn that audio on. For wide angle we don't actually want that audio so I'm keeping that off but if you did have a third mic for example then you can turn that on. Um, if you only want to use a mic, mic from one of the videos then you only need to enable the audio in, for that particular video. So in this case let's say you know you only want the audio coming from Charlie's mic then you would only enable Charlie there um, but we want Stephanie's audio we don't want the wide angle one so I'm leaving that one off. So once you've configured that, what you want to do is click this back arrow here. So you click that. And then, again, it's just one video, but what you need to do next is go into view here at the top, on the top right, and you want to change, you want to select angles. Um, and this will give you the view of the, the three angles, or the two or four or more, um, depending on how much you added. So what I'm going to do now, um, just to get rid of the browser, because it's not necessary at this point, I'm just going to hide it. So now you can see the three angles, and see when I hover over these angles, you can see the scissor. So basically, this is what you're going to use to switch between one angle to another. So at the moment, um, you can see that there's no footage showing in the Charlie box or the Stephanie box, um, and that's because there's no footage um, until a couple a couple of minutes in or a couple of seconds in so as you can see you know Charlie's video appears around 30 seconds in um, and there's no footage for Stephanie so I'm gonna just fast forward to a section where I know where Stephanie comes in uh, the Stephanie angle so let's just trim it there for a second in fact let's just get rid of everything before so we can play around with the three angles. Go ahead and play, and then switch between the angles as you want. So I'm gonna to go to Stephanie, back to Charlie. I'm going to wide angle now, leave it there for a few seconds. Go back to Charlie. Go back to Stephanie. And let's go back to wide angle. Back to Charlie, back to Stephanie, back to wide angle. So as you can see, when I when I was clicking each angle here with the scissor tool, Final Cut Pro is making the cuts for me here. So if I zoom into the timeline, as you can see, it's cut the clip. So it's gone from Charlie to Stephanie to Charlie to wide angle. So it's exactly how I've how I've done it. It's basically all you need to do. You're just selecting the clips, the angles that you want. Um, but you don't have to watch the video back entirely. If you know exactly where you want to make the switch, all you need to do is go into the playhead, move it to where you want. So say at this point here, with the audio level sort of peak, you might want to, at this point, switch to, uh, let's say, Charlie. So click Charlie's angle, and there you go, it's made that cut. So all of this time here, it's wide angle, and then here it'll switch to Charlie. Um, and then from here, from this point on, you might want to switch it to Stephanie. So you could do it that way, or you can just start it from the beginning, let it play back from the beginning, and then as you're watching it, you can switch between the angles like so, and then it will just make the cuts for you. And that's essentially how you edit multicam angles. It's really easy. Um, and actually, one thing I did forget to mention is this part here. So that by default, it's on enable video and audio switching. Um, and this is what you need this you need to have this enabled when you want to use multiple videos but also multiple audio sources so in this case I've got Charlie's mic uh, and I've got Stephanie's mic so I need to have that on so whenever it switches to Stephanie's video it's using Stephanie's mic 
If you have only one mic and you only want to switch the videos, you want to select this angle, this icon here, which is video only switching, which means the audio source will always be the same, but it will only switch the videos whenever you um, change angles. And the final one is enable audio only switching, which um, you wouldn't really want in a video. Um, I'm not really sure what cases you'd want audio only um, within a video, but it's there if you need it. So yeah, that's basically how you edit multicam videos. It's really easy and I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to drop a like and drop a comment as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace.